Hello everyone, I am uh, Amit Maru and uh, today we are going to start our new chapter that is uh, dynamic programming. Uh, this is another method uh, to solve uh, any problem. So let us start our today's video on the basics of dynamic programming. First of all, introduction of uh, dynamic programming. Dynamic programming is invented by a US mathematician Richard Bellman in 1950. Uh, in the uh, world dynamic programming, the word programming stands for the planning and it does not mean by computer programming. So here in dynamic programming, the word programming itself is not the uh, computer programming. Actually, the meaning of programming here is uh, planning. So in dynamic programming means dynamic planning. So to solve any uh, problem, uh, we have a dynamic planning. Uh, through that we are going to solve the problem. Dynamic programming is a technique for solving problem with uh, overlapping sub problems. So like in our divide and conquer uh, method, uh, we are dividing our uh, problem into different different uh, sub problems. Uh, likewise in the dynamic programming also we are dividing uh, our uh, problems into sub problems. And in this technique uh, we solve problem with overlapping uh, sub problems. Uh, in this method, each subproblem is uh, solved by only once. We will solve uh, each subproblem only once only. The result of each subproblem is recorded in a table from which we can obtain a solution to the original problem. So to uh, solve the problem, original problem, uh, we have a number of subproblems and uh, we will solve subproblem only once and the result of subproblems will be stored inside the uh, one table. And for the table, uh, for any programming language, for table, we will use a two dimensional matrix. In that, we will store a solution of each sub problem. And at the end, we can get solution of original problem. Now, uh, the question here is uh, in our divide and conquer method, we have uh, many sub problems and we are uh, solving sub problems, each and every sub problems. And at that end, uh, we are uh, merging the solution of each and every sub problem. So in a uh, uh, dynamic programming also we have a number of uh, sub problems and we are solving each and every sub problems and we are storing inside one uh, table. So uh, what is exactly the difference between uh, divide and conquer and dynamic programming? So let us discuss what is difference uh, between uh, divide and conquer and dynamic programming. This kind of uh, question may be there in your examination like uh, give difference between divide and conquer and uh, dynamic programming. So let us discuss uh, difference between divide and conquer and dynamic programming. So the first difference uh, between the divide and conquer and dynamic programming is uh, divide and conquer is a top down method and the dynamic programming is a bottom up technique. In divide and conquer, we are starting from the top uh, or we can say the main problem and then we are dividing uh, our main problem into sub problems and continuously we are dividing uh, until we get uh, separate all the elements and then we are uh, merging the solution of each and every sub problem. In dynamic programming, uh, it is a bottom up method. It means uh, we usually start with the smallest and hence the simplest uh, sub problems or a sub instance. So this method is known as a bottom of technique. In a divide and conquer, uh, the sub problem are independent of each other. But in dynamic programming, the sub problems are not independent. In a divide and conquer, uh, divide and conquer does more work on the sub problem. So as we discuss, uh, we have a a uh, number of sub problems and then we are applying our ad hoc algorithm to each and every sub problem uh, then solution of uh, each and every sub problems uh, we are using uh, we are using or we are merging solution of each and every sub problem to find the solution of our final problem so uh, it does have a more work on the uh, sub problem in the uh, divide and conquer in dynamic programming uh, dynamic programming solves the pro sub problem only once and then store it in the table. So we will solve uh, our sub problem only one and the solution of sub problem uh, will be stored inside the one 
टेबल और वी कैन से मैट्रिक्स इट हैज अ मोर टाइम कंजप्शन डिवाइड एंड कंकर हैज मोर टाइम कंजप्शन एंड इन डायनमिक प्रोग्रामिंग हैज अ लेस टाइम कंजप्शन इन अ डिवाइड एंड कंकर डिवाइड एंड कंकर स्प्लिट्स इट्स इनपुट एट अ स्पेसिफिक डिटर्मिनिस्टिक पॉइंट usually uh, in the middle so normally uh, in divide and conquer when we divide uh, our uh, large instance into different uh, parts at that time normally we are dividing uh, into two part first uh, and we are dividing uh, from the middle one but in dynamic programming uh, dynamic programming splits uh, its input at every possible splits point rather than at a particular point after trying all splits uh, point it determines uh, which split point is optimal so this is the difference uh, between uh, divide and conquer and dynamic programming as we discuss in divide and conquer we have many sub problems and we are focusing on the solution of uh, each and every sub problem in dynamic programming also we have a number of sub problems and uh, we are solving uh, each and every sub problems but we solve only once and then after we will store the solution of each and every sub problem inside the table and as we discuss in divide and conquer every sub problems are independent but in dynamic programming uh, these all the sub problems are not independent it is uh, uh, directly connected each other so let us discuss a simple example of dynamic programming so that you can easily understand exactly the concept of dynamic programming so calculating the binomial coefficient it is one problem consider the problem of calculating the binomial coefficient uh, to calculate the binomial uh, coefficient we have one recurrence equation like uh, nk is equal to uh, 1 if the value of k is equal to 0 or k is equal to n if the value of k is equal to 0 or when the value of k and n both are equal at that time your uh, uh, algorithm or your function will return 1 if the value is greater than 0 and less than n if the value of k is greater than 0 and less than the n at that time will return n minus 1 n minus 1 k minus 1 plus n minus 1 Okay. Otherwise, will return zero. So this recurrence equation basically used uh, for calculating the binomial coefficient. So when we uh, convert into the algorithm, then we can write uh, algorithm uh, like uh, uh, function c of uh, n k. If the value of k is equal to zero or k is equal to uh, n, this is our first condition of recurrence equation. If the value of k is equal to zero. or k is equal to n then return 1 so we'll return 1 otherwise we'll return a c of n minus 1 k minus 1 that is n minus 1 k minus 1 plus c of n minus 1 k n minus 1 k so this is a function call itself it is a recurrence equation we'll continuously call uh, for different different values of uh, n and k and at the end we will have solution of uh, binomial coefficient now uh, when we solve by using dynamic programming just take one example if the value of uh, n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 3 then we have a uh, c of uh, 5 comma 3 if you want to find the solution of uh, this binomial coefficient where the value of n is equal to 5 and k is equal to uh, 3 then uh, it is nothing but uh, it is the sum of uh, c of 4 2 and uh, c of 4 3 because here yeah, the value of uh, n is equal to 5 k is equal to 3 so a second condition is to when the value of k is greater than 0 and uh, less than the n here yeah, the value of k that is 3 3 is greater than 0 and less than the 5 so second condition is to so it will return a uh, 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 two value and it is addition of two value like n minus 1 k minus 1 so 5 minus 1 that is 4 and 3 minus 1 that is uh, 2 so c of uh, 4 2 and plus uh, n minus 1 k that is uh, 5 minus 1 4 and k is equal to 3 so c of 4 3 so it is a sum of uh, c of 4 2 and c of 4 3 so as we discuss uh, we have many sub problems and we have to solve only once and we have to store result inside the table so uh, if you want to find the solution of c of uh, 5 3 at that time we have a uh, sub problems like a uh, c of 4 2 and c of 4 3
when we solve c of 4 to 8 the term again we will have a uh, two sub problems like uh, c of uh, 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 two uh, c of uh, 3 comma 1 and uh, c of uh, 3 comma 2 if we solve c of 4 3 at the time again we have a solution like uh, c of uh, uh, 3 2 and uh, c of uh, 3 3 so in this way we have to find out the solution of each and every sub problem and store inside the uh, table so that we can get a solution of our final problem that is our c of 5 3 and this method is known as dynamic programming here uh, n indicates uh, different rows and uh, k indicates uh, different columns here the value of different rows like uh, 0 1 2 3 it is nothing but the value of uh, n and uh, the value of column like uh, 0 1 2 3 it is nothing but the value of k so as we discuss if you want to find uh, 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 n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 3 it means that uh, 5 comma 3 then we have to check uh, fifth row and third column so our answer will be uh, available here but if you want to find the solution of 5 3 at the time we have to uh, solve each and every sub problems uh, before that and we have to store inside the table so that we can get a final solution for uh, 5 comma 3 it means that when the value of n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 3 so let us solve uh, this problem uh, by using uh, above recurrence uh, equation and uh, as we discuss uh, in a dynamic programming we are solving each and every sub problem only once and we are storing inside the table so let us uh, solve each and every uh, sub problems and store inside this uh, table so uh, as we discuss uh, row indicates our uh, values of n and uh, column indicates uh, different values of k if the value of n is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 so the first condition is true if the value of k is equal to 0 then your uh, function will return 1 so here uh, uh, we can get an uh, answer that is uh, 1 only then uh, uh, when the value of n is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 so as we discussed k is equal to 0 so we'll return 1 here if you want to put a value here then the value of n is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 both are equal so whenever k and n both are equal at the time we'll return 1 so again the value is 1 when the value of k n is equal to 2 and the k is equal to 0 again the value of k is equal to 0 then we'll return 1 so here answer is 1 it means that for a 0th column uh, we have a answer that is 1 1 1 only Another thing uh, is uh, the value of main diagonal will be 1 1 1 only because in main diagonal the value of n and k both uh, will be equal and for the first column the value of k will be 0. So in this both the case uh, first column will be 1 and main diagonal will be 1 and we have to identify uh, the value for remaining intermediate values. So when the if you want to uh, fill value here when the value of n is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 at that time your first condition is false and our second condition is true because the value of k is equal to 1 so it is greater than 0 and uh, less than the n because the value of n is equal to 2 and value of k is equal to 1 here then your function will return n minus 1 k minus 1 plus n minus 1 k here the value of n is equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and the value of k is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 right so it has a, a 1 comma 0 that is a first row zeroth column first row zeroth column it means that this value and the value is 1 plus n minus 1 k so n is equal to 2 2 minus 1 that is a 1 and k is equal to 1 so 1 1 so first row first column first row first column it means that this value and this value is 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 this 2 will be stored in, uh, in this table in this cell when the value of n is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 then we can get answer 2 it means that uh, it is addition of above value that is 1 and the previous of above value that is 1 so addition of these two value 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 then if you want to fill the value of n is equal to uh, 3 
and the k is equal to 0 so definitely it will be uh, sorry uh, when the value of uh, k n is equal to 2 and the value of k is equal to 2 both are equal then your answer is again 1 both are equal so as we discuss uh, main diagonal has the answer 1 now fill this uh, uh, third row now if the value of n is equal to 3 and the value of k is equal to 0 so here the value of k is equal to 0 so it will be 1 when the value of n is equal to 3 and the value of k is equal to 1 at the time your second condition is true so we can say that uh, we have to identify above value above value is 2 and the previous of above value that is 1 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 right and uh, here the value of n is equal to uh, 3 and k is equal to 2 so again we have to apply same uh, condition uh, or same logic that is above value that is 1 and previous of above value that is 2 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so here answer will be 3 and the uh, main diagonal has a one value because uh, n is equal to 3 and k is equal to 3 both are equal now fill value here so here the first uh, column will be uh, uh, first column uh, will be one only and uh, fill second value that is n is equal to 4 and k is equal to uh, 1 so we have to uh, find above value that is uh, 3 and previous of above value that is 1 so 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so answer is 4 if you want to fill value here uh, then we can say uh, above value is uh, 3 and the previous of above value is 3 so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 here uh, when the value of n is equal to 4 and k is equal to uh, 3 at the time again we have to check above value that is 1 and previous of above value that is 3 so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and as we discuss main diagonal will be uh, 1 now fill uh, fifth row so first uh, column will be uh, will be 1 and here uh, above value is 4 and previous is 1 so 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 yeah above value is 6 and previous of above there is 4 so 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 here above value is 4 and previous value is 6 so 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 uh, above value is 1 and previous value is 4 so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and the main diagonal is equal to 1 Right. So in this way we can uh, uh, find a different value if the value of n is equal to uh, 5 and the value of k is equal to uh, 3 then your answer uh, of binomial coefficient is uh, 10. Right. And the remaining all the values are the sub problems. As we discussed this all the sub problems are not inter uh, independent. These all are the uh, interdependent and uh, based on this value we can uh, get a solution of our original problem that is 5 comma 3 for example right so this uh, kind of uh, uh, diagram or we can say triangle is known as pascal's triangle so the pascal's triangle is uh, nothing but the solution of a binomial coefficient by using a dynamic programming right and this algorithm is sure uh, to be in uh, omega of uh, n and k right so uh, this is all about uh, what is uh, uh, dynamic programming actually how we can solve uh, dynamic programming what is difference between uh, dynamic programming and uh, divide and conquer so this is all about basics of uh, dynamic programming uh, and our uh, in our next uh, lecture uh, we will discuss about our first uh, algorithm uh, that is a making change problem by using dynamic programming so we already uh, discussed this problem making change uh, problem in our uh, greedy method and we have solved this problem by using greedy method same problem uh, can be solved uh, by using dynamic programming uh, sometime our greedy algorithm cannot give optimal solution so that we can solve same problem by using dynamic uh, programming so that will be discussed in detail in our next video so thank you uh, thank you for watching this video thank you again